welcome to class students in this class we are going to discuss uh, continuation of uh, conditional statement case uh, special versions case x and case z statements and also looping statement so we'll uh, begin with while loop the case statement compares 0 1 x and z values in the expression and the alternative bit for bit if the expression and alternative are unequal bit width they are zero filled to match the bit width of the widest of the expression and the alternative case statement with x and z in this example uh, we are going to study uh, general case statement syntax in this example we are trying to implement d multiplexer one input four outputs we require two select lines so all together number of inputs if you observe input s1 and s0 so three inputs and uh, there are four outputs out 0 to out 3 so we have defined out 0 to out 3 in1 s1 and s0 outputs first and then followed by inputs output so four outputs we have defined out 0 to out 3 register output need to be redefined as a register out 0 to out 3 input in and one more another select line inputs so s1 comma s nodes so these symbol uh, we are written as a declaration part and the logic implementation is when a select line 0 0 in should be assigned to out 0 what about remaining outputs out 1 out 2 and out 3 can be at high impedance that is z so what we have done here is in uh, always statement we need to use case statement inside an always statement always at inputs s1 s0 and in so three inputs so we, by using or operator s1 or s0 or in we are used to include all the inputs in place of or we can also write comma like s1 comma s0 comma in like that case s1 comma s0 there are two uh, statements uh, select lines s1 and s0 so we are concatenating s1 and s0 together with concatenation of operator flower brackets you can observe s1 comma s0 so we are concatenating s1 and s0 resultant will be a 2 bit vector when s1 is 0 and s0 is 0 the value is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and if you consider whether it is uh, uh, input as a register or not it can take four different values in very log if you remember a 0 1 x z so 0 1 x z for each uh, value so here we will get all together 16 different combinations in that uh, four combinations are written on this slide in remaining combinations we are writing on the next slide so when 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 out 0 should be assigned with in remaining outputs should be assigned with high impedance z value z high impedance means it is not connected anywhere it is not connected to 0 or not connected to uh, 1 that is plus pcc 0 means the ground uh, high impedance means it is not connected anywhere output is floating so out 0 is in so to mimic hardware conditions so these z and unknown values are available apart from 0 1 regular meaning 0 means ground 1 means connected to plus 5 volt or vcc for 0 1 out 1 should be input remaining outputs should be at high impedance for 1 0 you can observe out 2 out 2 should get input value for 1 1 out 3 should get input value like that
then the remaining conditions will get all together say 16 combination 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 4 combinations we have seen remaining combinations 0 x x 0 x 1 x x x z z x okay these are considered as uh, by putting comma we are including all the conditions when you put s1 and s0 if they have value uh, these seven different values x0 x1 xz xx 0x 1x zx in that case you should produce the same output since you are assigning four different outputs so each choice should be written with begin and end if you are writing only one assignment statement then no need to write begin and end so you can observe here begin and end indicate start and end of the block semicolon separates uh, after after semicolon whatever you write it is treated as you are writing on next line or next statement then remaining combination 0 z z 0 z 1 1 z z z so remaining five combinations for this output should be maintained at high impedance and for this output should be maintained at unknown x. So almost 16 combinations are taken care. So this default statement uh, will not uh, arise in this case because uh, each S1 and S, uh, S0 can have four different values all together put together 16 combinations possible. In above statements all 16 combinations are included of the input. So default is not needed in this case it is optional. Default means if none of the above conditions are met then default is uh, whatever you write that will be executed. Here we are writing a dollar display means you are printing unspecified control signals. This may not arise in this particular example. Then end case to indicate end of the case statement and since you are writing within always statement only one case statement so for always you observe that we are not written begin and end for always we are not written begin and end because case is a single statement if you write also it is valid if you don't miss if you don't write also it is uh, valid because case is treated as single statement and at the end we write we are writing end module The special versions of case statement, case x and case z statements. There are two variations of the case statement. They are denoted by keywords case x and case z. Case z treats all z values in the case alternatives or in the case expression as don't cares. Case z treats all z values in the case alternatives that is choices or the case expression as don't cares. All bit positions with Z can also represented by a question mark in the in that position. Case X treats all X and Z values in the case item or the case expression as don't cares. The use of case X and case Z allows comparison of only non X or Z positions in the case expressions and the case alternatives example so we'll see one example the use of case that is similar to case x the only one bit is considered to determine the next state and the other bits are ignored if you consider this example for analysis so here encoding encoding is a four bit value as defined as a register integer state integer state uh, case x encoding based on the encoding value encoding if, can, if it is 1 x x x so x and z are treated as in case of case x so x are treated as don't cares so only one bit comparison is done so if fourth bit is 1 next state will be 3 if the second bit is 1 the next state will be 2 if the third bit is 1 in that case next state will be 1 if the lsb bit is 1 next state will be 0 default so it is a default state we are writing if the none of the conditions are met in that case next state will be 0 here for example thus an input encoding if encoding value is 10xz 10xz means what we are comparing 1 1 in 
uh, uh, MS position, it matches with this particular choice. Remaining three values are treated as don't cares. So here, uh, zero x that are there in remaining locations. So next state will be. So since one is matched with this particular choice, next state will be three after execution. Okay, this is how case x statement uh, is used where you can observe that unknown and uh, high impedance values are part of choices here or alternatives. It uh, belongs part of alternatives based on which we can make the decision. So whether x or case x statement or case z statement, the x and z are treated as don't care here. So here we are checking matching whether MSP bit is one, next bit next and the lower bit like that for this particular combination 10x set it is matching one uh, in msp position so next it will be three then we'll observe a looping statements there are four types of looping statements in verilog while for repeat and forever in this class we'll observe only while statement the syntax of these loops is very similar to the syntax of loops in the C programming language. All looping statements can appear only inside an initial or always block. Loops may contain delay expressions. While loop. The keyword while is used to specify this loop. The while loop executes until the while expression is not true. If the loop is entered when the while expression is not true, the loop is not executed at all. Any logical expression can be specified with operators. If multiple statements are to be executed in the loop, they must be grouped typically using keywords begin and end. If you consider an example, increment count from 0 to 127, exit when count value reaches at 128, display the count variable. This is a problem statement given for which we are writing code. So we are not writing entire code, portion of the code or partial code we are writing. Integer count initial begin count is assigned with value 0. While count value less than 128, begin count percentage B. So initial value count you are assigned with 0. So here you will get value as 0. You can observe here, uh, register is defined as 16 bit and uh, uh, that flag which is defined as register you are initializing here, 16 tick B and 16 bit values are uh, indicated here. So you need to check continuously this 16 bit register wherever one for the first time when you encounter one, when you encounter one, uh, that bit value we need to display. Okay. So they, there are 16 bits after four bits you are putting underscore and you are joining four strings. So four into four 16 bit value. You can also avoid these underscore 16 bit values at a stretch you can write that is also allowed i equal to 0, i initialize with 0, continue, so continue we are defined as register, it is initialized as true. So here you are checking, if i is less than 16, so i is initialized with 0, so starting from LSP, lower bit, you are going on incrementing, checking when you encounter 1 first. Every time you are checking flag of 0, flag of uh, flag of 0, this particular bit is 0. So 0 means this condition becomes false. You are incrementing i by i is equal to i plus 1, i you are incrementing by 1. So flag of 1, that is also 0. So it go on checking 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 when i value becomes 13 flag of 13 you will be uh, this condition becomes true here you can display encountered a true bit at an element number 
percentage B that is I value you are displaying here it you will display it as 13 and then continue you are making false so for the for next time uh, when I is incremented and continue becomes false here so total condition becomes false so execution of the while loop statement uh, uh, execution halts or stops this is how we need to analyze in while statement general first we are checking condition and condition is true then you are entering the looping statement inside looping statement i can use conditional statements like if case or assignment statements display these are allowed thank you students we will continue in next class